In two weeks from now, the world will be watching Hopkinsville, Kentucky, looking upward to the sky above the western Kentucky town that has also taken on the identity of Eclipseville. Even after the estimated crowd of hundreds of thousands extra visitors leave Eclipseville, locals are banking on their new friends carrying home something that will last much longer than the 2 minutes and 40 seconds of total eclipse time. Total darkness. WHS 11's Chris Williams explains. There's a sunny outlook in this all-American town. The world is preparing to visit Eclipseville and beyond Main Street. Inside this auditorium, we're getting a taste of the Hoptown hubbub. Trinkets of all sorts are popping up. Eclipseville swag ready for their moment in the dark. Patricia Farrell is an artist, cashing in by creating these moonlight mementos. I would be foolish not to. It's made out of old uh, metal like old uh, scrap metal, you know, it's something that he cuts out, you know, it's all handmade, you know, all hand cut, everything. Artists not only putting their creative signature on this once in a lifetime opportunity, they're waxing poetic. If we can do what this eclipse is doing, the world would be better because when we think about the sun and the moon coming together, being one, if we can do that as a people, then this world would be better. It would be a better place for, for children and everybody. He's looking at the world through rose-colored glasses, but for those looking at the eclipse, you'll need these special specs. Many businesses are offering branded pairs of protected eyewear. The world leader in bowling balls makes Hopkinsville, excuse me, Eclipseville, their home. This is Ebonite's bowling ball swag. Not far from this meeting, up the road at Casey Jones Distillery, they're bottling the eclipse. An estimated $30 million will pour into this community. Not a bad take when you consider this entire event is thanks to a galactic moment of throwing shade. Checking out the swag in Hopkinsville, excuse me, Eclipseville. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News. <laughs> and don't forget, if you aren't able to see the eclipse for yourself, WHAS 11 is going to be on your side that day with the full solar eclipse experience. I'll be in Hopkinsville along with a huge team of us here from the station. We're going to be on a farm near Hopkinsville throughout the day on August 21st. It, we're so excited we even just may even stay the entire weekend. And be sure to tune in from 2 to 3 p.m. on that Eclipse Monday. That's our live special coverage. You will see the eclipse live from Hopkinsville, Kentucky.